adding a countdown timer to your workout videos or yoga flows makes it so much easier for your viewers to follow along with you and it also makes your videos look really professional. But if you've just started editing on your iPhone using iMovie, you're probably wondering how the heck can you add a countdown timer? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you not just one, but three easy and free ways you can add a countdown timer to your next workout or yoga flow video so you can take your videos next level and start getting more views today. The first time you're going to create just by screen recording the clock timer on your phone, swipe down until you get to the screen recording button right here. We're going to press that button and it's going to count us in three, two, one, and start recording our screen. So just swipe back up till you get to your clock and then select the timer. Now I need a 30 second interval timer for the video that I've created, but you can create a countdown timer for as short or as long as you need yours to be. Our screen is recording, so press start. And when the timer ends, just press stop on the red screen recording button in the top left hand corner of your screen. And that'll just save the screen recording to our photos. We're then gonna go into our photos. We're gonna select on our screen recording of our timer and we're just gonna trim and crop it right down. So select edit. And then using the slider bar, we're going to trim it down to the start of the timer and to the end crop it all the way down. So select crop. And I like to crop mine all the way down to the seconds, but if you wanna see the minutes, that's completely fine. Once you've got that cropped down and nice and aligned, just select done and save video as new clip. Now we're going to go into our project in iMovie. Select on the clip that you want to overlay your timer onto. You can see when I select the clip, it turns yellow. I'm gonna hit the plus button and then go into video, recently added. And then I'm just going to select the timer that I just trimmed and cropped down. And when I select it again, it turns yellow and you can see three icons appear. The plus button will just add that clip into our video and we don't want to do that because we can't use it as an overlay that way. If we hit the play button, it just plays the clip. And then when we tap on the three dots, you can see a whole menu opens up of options for us to add the clip into our video. And we're gonna select picture in picture. And there you have it, we've added a timer onto our selected clip. Now it's pretty big and bulky right now, so we're just gonna resize that by selecting the timer clip, select the arrows, and we're just going to reposition the timer where you want it to be. I'm gonna have mine here, but you could have yours over in the left-hand corner or down the bottom of the screen. And then I'm just gonna pinch the corners of the timer just to resize it down as well. And there you have it, a pretty nice looking timer added to your video. Now I think this looks pretty awesome as is, but a couple of obvious downsides are that you don't have a lot of option to change the background color of the timer, and then you don't have an option to change the square shape of the timer if you don't like it. But don't worry, I'm gonna show you exactly how to fix that in our last example. So make sure you hang around all the way through to the end because I tell you, it is a game changer. But a simple fix for changing the background color of the timer and our second countdown timer example is to use an interval timer app. Now I recommend it using the interval timer for HIIT training, which you can get both a free and paid version of, but for what we're doing, all you need is the free version. So open up the interval timer app, press on the plus button, Give your timer a name. I'm gonna call mine 30 second timer. Then press the high intensity cycle, select the color option, and you can see you've got a whole 
lot of colors you can choose from. Select on the duration that you need. Now I need a 30 second interval timer. Press back and then hit save on your timer. Now you wanna go back to the control center screen and start screen recording again. Then go back into the interval timer app, select on the 30 second timer that you just created and press start. Once the timer's finished, hit stop on the red screen recording button in your left hand corner of your screen and that's gonna to save to photos again. We're then gonna go back into our photos and find our screen recording and we're just gonna trim and crop that down like we did for our previous example. Hit done and then save video as new clip. We're then gonna go back into iMovie, select on our project, select the clip that we wanna overlay our timer onto, hit our plus button, video recently added, find the timer that you just trimmed and cropped down, select on that and our three little dots. And again, we're gonna hit picture in picture and our timer will overlay onto our video clip. Select on the timer so that we can reposition it and resize it using the arrow keys. Pinch the corners. And there you have it guys, a really bright and colorful way you can add a countdown timer to your video. Now let's move on to the third and final countdown timer example. And guys, seriously, the coolest way you can add a countdown timer to your next workout or yoga flow video for free in iMovie using the app Keynote. And this usually comes already pre-installed on your iPhone, but if you don't already have it, just go into the app store now and download the app. Go ahead and open the Keynote app. Hit the plus button, choose a theme. We're gonna select basic, delete the text from the slide, select on the paintbrush and select appearance. We're gonna change the background color to green because we're gonna use a green screen effect. Then gonna hit on the plus button and we're gonna create a circle countdown timer. So we're gonna go into the objects and select the circle. And then I'm just gonna flip my screen so it just makes it a little bit easier to work with. Move your circle into either corner, then just increase the size of your circle. Hit on the paintbrush again to change the color by selecting style. I'm gonna create a pink timer. And now select the plus button again and we're gonna start creating the numbers for our timer. So hit the text button and then we need to change the font and increase the size. I'm just going to change the font color to white so that it really pops off of the circle. I'm gonna double tap on the text and my countdown timer is for 30 seconds. So I'm gonna put the number 30 in there and then I'm just gonna move that into my circle. And now I need to duplicate this slide so that I've got 31 slides or from the number 30 all the way down to zero. So I'm just gonna select the slide and hit copy and then select the slide again and paste. And this is the time consuming part, but I tell you it's well worth it. Just continue copying and pasting until you get all the way down to 31 slides. Once you've created your 31 slides, we then need to just go back in and change the text so that it reads 30, 29, 28, 27, all the way down to zero. Again, this is really time consuming, but I promise it only takes a couple of minutes and it's well worth it. Once you've changed all the numbers on your slide, you're ready to export. Select the circle with the three dots and we're gonna hit export, movie. And just make sure your resolution set to 1080p, 30 frames per second, slide range is all, and then go to next slide after one second. Hit export and then save your video to your photos. So go ahead and open up the iMovie app, select our project, and then select on the clip that we wanna overlay our countdown timer onto. Press the plus button, video, recently added, and select our timer that we just created, hit our three little dots, and this time when the menu appears, we're going to select green, blue screen. And then when we play our video back, you can see we've got a really beautiful and professional looking countdown timer 
added to our video. So there you have it guys, three easy and free options for adding a countdown timer to your next workout video or yoga flow the next time you're editing using iMovie. Drop me a comment below and let me know which of the three timers you're gonna try out first. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing so you get notified every single time I post new videos just like this to help you up-level your fitness business. And until then, take care.